<laughs> this is by far the favorite toy of my childhood. It is a gift from my father. He probably gave me this 15 years ago. And I still have it. And I still love it. So today I want to build a new wooden sword. Maybe I'm gonna give it to my son if I ever had one. This is my sword. I have absolutely no idea about where to start. Probably I'm gonna try to learn with a YouTube tutorial, like 99% of the things that I pretend to know. Or I could ask my dad. Because he is an absolute master in woodworking. He builds his own guitars. And they are beautiful in my opinion. But I don't know if it's like cheating. So I'm gonna just use his studio. First of all, I have to draw the shape of the sword. <coughs> it will be easier to have templates of the shape, but I want to do something completely new. It's terrible. It's harder than I thought. I'm gonna find a sword that I like on Google, and I'm gonna try to draw that one. I like this one. The shape of this one is so nice. Let's do it! Then I realized that the shape of my sword was pretty crooked, so I drew a better profile and then I cut it out. Alright, this is my sword. Now I have to cut it. Like, like this. I really hope my father has a machine to cut the wood. I don't know how this thing works. Ah! No. Don't worry now, I'm gonna be extremely careful. We'll see what happens. I'm an idiot. I don't need this, I need another tool. This place is completely full of amazing tools and I choose the only one that I shouldn't use. So my father saw me and he had a little bit of pity and basically he showed me just the right tools to use. I'm gonna use this to cut the shape of... to cut the shape of the sword from the blank. Alright, it is pretty terrible. Now the edges are much better. They are still not perfect, but they are better. Right now I have to make this thing sharp. You probably can already see what is the problem. You have to cut... Yeah. I'm gonna make one centimeter here and one here. One centimeter. Perfect. I'm gonna start cutting these parts. Because the blade obviously needs to be thinner than the handle. By the way, I'm improvising right now. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I already fucked up the sword. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Slowly is becoming a sword. Yeah, this sword is fucked up, guys. Basically, I made a huge mistake here. Probably like this, you can see it better. I spoke with my father and he told me that it is not a huge problem because you can use the glue inside here, which is extremely hard and resistant. The only problem is that for the glue, you need 24 hours. Today, I'm gonna just build the right shape of the sword and I'm gonna put the glue inside. So now I'm gonna use just this to make the blade. The edges on top are better now. Now we're gonna do the sharp part of the blade. Pretty proud of myself, guys. Except this mistake here. Now I'm gonna make the end. This word is much better. It's perfect. It took me 12 hours. This place is a mess. 
but it's finally finished. I mean, it's absolutely not perfect, but it's pretty sharp. Do you like it? I like it. I'm gonna use the glue to fix these mistakes that I made, and tomorrow we're gonna paint it. Just woke up. This is the glue after 24 hours. Yeah, it's not bad. As you can see here, the glue is not perfect. And to be honest, I'm not that sure about the painting. I think I'm gonna wait my father because probably he has a better solution for this. And this. The only problem is that in six hours, I have to take a flight to London and my father is not home. Probably I'll come back in Italy for my birthday. So I'm gonna post the finished results on Instagram. And then I was thinking, do you think my son will ever watch this video? See you guys.